Palm Beach County has released results from a traffic study it says was conducted in response to the deadly bus stop crash in Royal Palm Beach last week. And the report concludes there is no need for a traffic light at the crash site, despite 29 crashes at the intersection over five years. WPTV's Cameron Leppinger joins us now live with reaction from residents. Cam. Well, Mike, in response to that report, residents I spoke with say they are frustrated and that they won't stop fighting until improvements are made to help prevent another tragedy. Since last week's fatal crash here in Royal Palm Beach, calls for change at Cypress Lake Drive and Crestwood Boulevard have gotten louder. A traffic light is going to be the best thing we can do. But based on results from a recent study, it appears residents like Marie Young won't be getting a signal anytime soon. It's just a speedway. And unfortunately, it has a lot of curves in it and people lose control all the time. On Monday, county engineers performed tests to determine if there was a need for a traffic light. Here's what they found. Overall, the intersection's traffic volumes did not meet or exceed the minimum threshold for a light signal. The study also concluded that the sight distance exceeded standards on all approaches and for turning vehicles from the median. The results not sitting well with Marie, who has called Royal Palm Beach home for the past 27 years and has witnessed several accidents along Crestwood Boulevard. I don't think they did a very good study. We also learned from the county there has been a total of 29 crashes at this intersection since 2017. In response to the report and last week's crash, State Rep Matt Wilhite, who represents the district, says he'll be pushing for more safety measures and for the local school district to reassess all of its bus stop locations. Make sure that we can put them in the safest, best place and make sure the kids have, uh, have the best opportunities to be safe waiting for that bus, to get on that bus, to get to school to learn. And back out here live, based on that study, the county also says that the Questwood Boulevard 40 mile per hour speed limit will also remain in place. We're live tonight in Royal Palm Beach. I'm Kimberly Eppinger. Back to you.